Manchester United cruised into the Europa League quarter finals with a 5-1 aggregate win over Real Betis after Marcos Rashford's 27th goal of the season sailed a 1-0 victory in Spain. Marcus Rashford was 25 yards from goal when Casemiro floated a pass to him at the studio Benito Villarmarin. Only Real Betis could tell you why one of the hottest strikers in Europe right now was left unmarked. Maybe it was because Rashford had just missed two one-on-ones in the space of three minutes. But players like him will only let you off so many times. Rashford controlled the ball and used the time and space he had to take one touch than another. He looked up and unlisted a devastating dipping right foot shot past Rui Silva and inside the post. And that was it. Game over. If it wasn't already over, of course. The three-goal lead United built up in the first leg at Old Trafford last week meant they were hot favourites to go into Friday's quarter-final draw. Only twice in Europa League history had teams come back from deficit as great or greater than that to progress. They kept out Betis throughout a rather frantic first half and reached half-time with that advantage intact, but the supporters here still believed, still rode their team on in this wonderfully atmospheric stadium in Seville. Then Rashford struck his 19th goal in 23 games since the World Cup and the life drained out of them. All that reminded was the drum beat sounding definitely from the goal soared behind C- Silva's net in the second half. Eric Ten Hag would suddenly have settled for this outcome before kickoff. Even thought his team game management in the first half was a little questionable. He started Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes. As he said he would and both avoided the booking that would have seen them banded from the, for the first leg of the quarter finals. Ten Hag also gave Fusondo Pelistri his first start as reward for the young Uruguayan wingers' progress since the World Cup, which included setting up the fourth goal against Betis at Old Trafford last week and a rare run out to Harry Maguire. Pelistri deserved it, said the United boss. He has been training very well and deserved to be in the team. It is about him now. He knows that we expect for him. He can do it. He has proved it for Man United and the international team. Harry Maguire also training, trained very well. It is also about rotation, but we know what job he can do. Maguire certainly had his hands full in a first half that was all about United stopping Betis from scoring the goal that would have reinvigorated this tie and given their fans new hope. The Benito Villarmarin was noisy enough without needing any more encouragement, but United did just that with some careless passing and a lack of composure. This year kicking was called into question in the first leg and it was little better here. One pass went astray and another into task in the first six minutes along. Casemiro, of all people, almost led Betis in as well as United were rocking a little under the early pressure. The goal Betis carved so nearly arrived in the eighth minute when Jumani reached clear of Maguire and tossed the ball past Dizia, but it rolled just the wrong side of the post. Veteran midfielder Joaquin helped launch web after web of attacks from the home side and the 41-year-old went close in the 11th minute with a long-range effort that Dizia tipped around the post. Then Lisandro Martinez un- 
characteristically missed a header which also let in Iojo, Perez and Dizia had to hack clear. Towards the end of the half, Dizia had to come out again to Dine Joanimi who knocked the loose ball over the bar with the United keeper well out of his goal and the Betis number 7 then had another effort blocked by Maguire. United did settle into the game as the game wore on but post little threat until right before the interval as they failed to have a shot on target in the first half for the first time this season. Palestri offered energy and endeavor on the left but lacked penetration. Rashford was subdued on the left. Fernandez had the first shot in anger from 30 years in the 20th minute but it was well over the top. Both workers offered the little threat until almost the leg kick of the half.